nowadays it's a lot of young African American boys doing drugs to try and get rid of their problems, but it's not doing nothing but killing them. And so if we make this movie and put it out there, this might be a lesson for them to stop doing it and get help from people instead of getting help from drugs. I bet my head is somewhere else right now. What's your name? My name Mar, but with my friend. I don't got it right now. Bro, guess who I met today? Who you meet? I met this girl called Mars. She gave me some. What she gave me? She gave me a pill. A pill? Yeah, to help you with your feelings. What you need my phone? You know, bro, we've been through a lot. We, we all we had. Try the pill. And trust me, I'm your big brother. Alright, I'm with it. No, but them joints that you gave me last time, them joints popping, yo. Bro, I don't care. Where is my money? Uh-huh. All right. See you later. Bro, he cheated me out my money, bro. That's your fault. I count that joint when I get my work. Oh, yeah. We deaf got me that call. Today we are going to talk about square roots, okay? On the board I have number one, the square root of nine. To get the square root of nine, I have to think of a number when multiplied by itself will equal nine. So, for, okay, so we're going to go through the first ten perfect squares. One times one is one. Two times two is two. Three times three is four. Second perfect square. Yes? Can I go to the bathroom? Yes, you may. So the next one would be 3 times 3 is 9. nine. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 5 is. You're going to do page 3 to 5 in your book. Janae, Chloe, and Jalen are coming to the board to do the math problems. Everyone else is working independently doing page 3 to 5. Yes? Can you do that, though? Yes. Down here so long. <laughs> Call the nurse. Down here. Let me check. Bro, we got to watch no asthma attack. What's wrong with you? So I was walking to school, right? Mm hmm. And this girl bumped into me. She gave me some pills. What girl? Her name Mar. She bumped them in. She, she told me to walk with her. She gave me some pills, and I took them. Bro, why'd you ever do that, bro? You don't even know her. And me and David been stressing, and we've been been mistreated. Mhm. Mm Just want to give away the relief. I feel you, bro. 
Like, you couldn't tell anyone else? I know. They won't understand. Bro, I'm done to help you, but you gotta put in the work, bro. You gotta meet me halfway. Alright? I knew the drugs were no good, but I kept taking them anyway. Different dealers every day. I even got my little brother involved. I knew karma was right around the corner. And then, something happened. The other day, right? This bull cheated me on my money because I sold him some pills, bro. Bro, that's a bad John, bro. bro. Man, fat, bro. bro. That's him over there, bro. Come on. We, we right on. on. We on. What's up? What do you mean? What do you mean, what's up? Take off the hoodie. So, what's up? Why you come in here? You've been acting different. You hardly come to school. You passed out the other day. You had a choice of friends. What's going on with you? Nothing. Something has to be wrong. This is not the Damir I know. This girl gave me drugs and two pills. So, I kept on taking them and taking them and taking them. I got David involved. And that's when this girl, she tried to jump me. Cause I didn't give her the money I wore and I think she's gonna try to jump me again. Oh my God, what are you gonna do now? I don't know. <sighs> well, I'm willing to help you, but you have to stay away from the drugs. And these other friends you got. Okay, okay. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to set you up with the counselor and make sure you're getting the support during school. Every day you're going to come in in the morning and check in with me. And then before you leave, so we can have a conversation to make sure you're okay from the hours after school till you go to sleep. How does that sound? Good. Okay. Is there anything else? No. Okay. We got this. We had a hard road, little bro, but we slowly putting the pieces back together. Yeah, bro, drugs made us stuck, but I'm happy we found another way out. The lesson in the movie is don't do drugs just because of pay. Like, talk to somebody. Like, and if that don't work, then. Just keep on trying to talk to somebody. Just don't do drugs to try and make it better because the drugs going to end up killing you. And once you die, everybody not going to know what to do no more. And then, like, you got to be a... In the movie, the brothers, like, he, the big brother is encouraging his little brother to take drugs to try and make the pain go away. What is not doing nothing to them or making them... Yeah, ah, stuff like that. Like, they've been going through a lot of stuff since they were younger. Like when they were younger, their parents would do drugs. Nobody was really there for them, but they was there for each other, just them two. And once they had just got a hold of them, the pain start hitting them, like in the wrong spot. So they start doing bad stuff. I want this brother. They've been through a lot, so he thought drugs would make it better, and it didn't. It made it worse, and yeah, all these side effects, and then that's when the
problems start coming. It's mainly about like asking for help because you can't when you in a when you in a difficult situation you can't like uh, stay by yourself. You can't you gotta like ask for help. He's like he's like taking drugs or whatever and no he, he don't really have nobody to help him so he, I guess he, you could just say he's stuck. Basically what we want this movie to like describe, like put out there is life can be hard sometimes, especially for like uh, African American boys and boys his age or just boys in general going through the stuff that he's going through. The best way for me to like um, express like happiness or sadness is like I always write it. So like the script, I can put some of my own creativity in there. Like even though you can't see it through me, like you can see it through the script. Like I put some of my own problems in there. And um, like I, I've always been big on filming. Like I just like filming. I don't know why I just like. So this was awesome for me. The boy in this movie, he's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place like Brianna was saying he doesn't he can't really depend on anybody because he doesn't have biological parents in his life and like he could only depend on his brother but like he's the older one so maybe he just felt like he had to deal with his problems by himself I think it's important for us to make the movie because you see really like the movie that we're making is literally somewhere out there in the streets like even though it might not be the same people same situation but it's probably just most likely the same problem like kids getting hooked on drugs and trapping and all that. And then like they just want to go into jail, even like getting killed and stuff. So I feel like them seeing this movie will help them like realize that that's not, not the way to go. Like it's, like get a job, at least, at least do something with your life that's not like violent or like that won't get you put in jail. Well, I think my character Kevin is important in the movie because he he's like, you know people say the glue. Like he, he, he needs to stick the movie together, being the person that inspired people the other characters to like rise up out of their out of their troubles and like I relate I relate to that character because I, I actually do that in real life like when people that's be acting weird and stuff like I try to talk them out of it and, like help them out I know that they be slipping so I gotta help them I think that situation is by hanging with the right crowd like I'm different I, I could realize if a person is like a good person like they get do what they gotta do I realize a person that's like fools around and don't take stuff seriously like I actually choose to like to be with people that know what they're doing. Like they know how to stick to their game and do what they need to do. Like everybody know how growing they say growing up feels really hard and everything. It is like and people they think it's a joke. Like they think, oh you supposed to grow up in the streets. You supposed to be like in gangs and stuff. But then like they don't realize that it's, it's better opportunities out here for you. Like you could like you could want to be a singer, you go be a singer. But you don't gotta start singing like in the hood. Like if you do what you gotta do and you get like you get into schools, they can help you with that. You know how rappers, they like want to start street rapping and stuff and hood rapping, but they don't realize that it's programs and there's people that can help you get into the industry without having to go through all that.